This is Space Rogue for the Hacker News Network, and this is HNN Cast for the third week of February 2011. We have a lot of news for you this week, but first, the big story that everyone is still talking about the HB Gary mess. That's exactly what it is. Like I said last week, there's some Hollywood mogul rubbing his hands together in glee over the possible movie implications of this whole HB Gary mess. In case you've been living under a rock the last two weeks, let me bring you up to speed. H.B. Gary Federal was an up-and-coming small security firm being run by CEO Aaron Barr. As a marketing tactic, he thought he would poke at the group Anonymous and drum up some press from the ensuing battle of words. After threatening to publicly identify several Anonymous leaders, members of the group decided to strike back. But not with words, but with actions. Using some incredibly easy social engineering attacks, a horribly vulnerable, obscure CMS system, unpatched internal systems, careless password reuse across corporate systems, Twitter and LinkedIn, and trivial susceptibility to email phishing, Anonymous completely pwned H.P. Gary Federal and its CEO, Aaron Barr. H.P. Gary servers were broken into, its email spools copied and dumped onto BitTorrent, its data destroyed, its website defaced. The damage wasn't limited to H.P. Gary Federal, but also hit rootkit.com, a site run by H.P. Gary's Greg Hogland. The fallout from this attack has been tremendous. The email spool has not only revealed just how weak H.B. Gary's so-called evidence was against Anonymous, but additional plans that H.B. Gary had to completely discredit and destroy the WikiLeaks organization. A proposal prepared for the law firm of Hunton and Williams found in the spool detailed plans to submit false documents to WikiLeaks, launch cyber attacks directly against the WikiLeaks main servers in Sweden, and to investigate the personal lives of WikiLeaks members in an effort to discredit them. And just who is the Hutton and Williams law firm? Well, they represent Bank of America, and were recommended to the Bank of America by none other than the Department of Justice. Of course, none of this takes into account the possible future phishing and other attacks that will be launched against the email addresses contained within the mail pool, which are probably fairly high-value targets. But that's not all. H.B. Gary was one of several firms hired by the U.S. Chamber of Commerce to investigate the personal lives and families of its political opponents. Some people find these tactics alarming. But I seriously doubt H.B. Gary is the first or only firm to utilize them. H.B. Gary wasn't alone in all of this. The emails show that they were working closely with Palantir Technologies and Barraco Technologies to develop the plans against the Chamber of Commerce and WikiLeaks enemies. The three companies had created Team Themis, Themis being the Greek goddess of divine law. I guess they thought they were above the law or something. Of course, now everyone is running away as fast as they can, claiming the emails are fake and that they had nothing to do with H.B. Gary, etc. There's been so much bad publicity to come out of this mess that H.B. Gary Federal actually canceled all their talks at the RSA and B-Sides conferences. They even closed their booth at the RSA conference, which wasn't cheap, after they claimed to have received threats of physical harm. H.B. Gary did not respond well to this mess at all, they could have at least apologized. Somebody at the company could have resigned, maybe. They could have spent a little more time and money to try to help others affected by this. But no, they decided to run away and stick their head in the sand and hope everyone forgets about it. People tend not to forget poster children very soon. This attack wasn't unique. It did not use any subtle or overly complex security issues. H.B. Gary was broken into with basic, well-known techniques. Techniques that security people preach about every day. Those of us in the security field keep harping on the same things. Patch your systems. Use strong passwords. Use different passwords. Don't share your password. If we can't do it ourselves, what hope do we have of getting everyone else to do it? There's more than just H.B. Gary news this week. Lots more. And we'll have it for you right after these messages.